Hi, Dr. K. Uh, I'm here to discuss the stress relief fitness testing assignment. Um, I am 32 years old. Uh, I weigh 21.7 kilograms, and my fitness level prior to all this I thought was strong. Uh, for the Cooper's test, um, I had a pace dog. You met him last time. Uh, but in 12 minutes, I ran 1.5 miles at an eight minute clip. Uh, result on the chart was good uh, between uh, 1.46 and 1.56 miles. So just right there in the middle. Uh, for the push-ups, just drop down, did 25, easy peasy. Uh, Sit-ups, uh, did 30 uh, for those 60 seconds. Um, the sit and reach, uh, best of three was eight inches. Um, so the current fitness level, I don't know if you wanted us to do that again, but I'm feeling strong too, very strong on my fitness level there. Um, with regards to what, um, I could do as a, um, a comprehensive uh, exercise program. Um, I'm happy that I can just, uh, I feel like my strength is there. I'm happy that I can just drop down and do 25 push-ups. that's great. Um, same thing with the sit-up. So I don't think I need to build too much around that other than to maintain. Uh, for um, the Coopers and the sit and reach, I think I obviously need to work on my flexibility. Um, and just focusing, when I'm, I run for a longer distance, I get lateral right knee pain. Um, and so I've been working on that um, with Dr. Franklin too about uh, adding more trunk flexion, uh, just a hair, and um, landing softly uh, to kind of take the stress off of the glute there. Um, but also needing to increase flexibility. I know that my hamstrings need a lot of love and my hips aren't the greatest either. So just general flexibility there in the lower extremity, focusing, you know, glute, piriformis, quad, um, really on the hamstring. Um, calf and kind of like, you know, ankle circles for mobility, just waking everything up down there. So um, I was thinking the world's greatest um, uh, routine. Um, it's, there's different variations of it, but single knee to chest, drop down in a lunge, ipsilateral arm threads the needle, and kind of twists open, hands on both sides of the leg, push back into that hamstring stretch, and then stand and meet, and then repeat on the other side. Um, that's a good one. And then also uh, maybe just like dynamic warm ups, which is like walking back and forth with single knee to chest for uh, one lap, another lap uh, quad stretch, uh, another lap abductors or adductors rather. Um, so all of that before running is going to be huge and beneficial for me. Um, the other thing too would be endurance. Um, um, I'm pacing myself at eight minutes. Speed has never been a problem for me, but just endurance is a huge issue. So I need to be able to kind of, eight is great, but I need to be able to slow that down so I can go for further distances. Um, I was training for a half marathon for a little while, but that got kind of blown up. So, um, but at that point I was training about nine minutes, um, splitting the difference at eight and a half and doing that for as long as I can is really what I want to focus on. So running about three times per week, um, uh, working on breaths to keep the intensity at about, a moderate, so 11 to 14 RPE, um, doing that for about 36 to 45 minutes, depending if I can hit that nine minute mark, um, that's gonna give me about four, four to five miles. Um, and then progressing that to longer times. Uh, again, just building up the endurance with that moderate uh, intensity over time. Okay, um, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of the break, and we'll see you, I think, in Intake.